up next. Where is everyone? I didn't need everyone. Just you. Because I'm the only one who could get it done. Sure, let's go with that. Sergio, huh? You're familiar with Panteros? I mean, my roommate's one of them, so yeah. Oh, don't give me that look. Rent's expensive. Is this gonna be a problem? I mean, per the roommate code, I'm gonna have to fold her laundry for two weeks, but beyond that, I'm golden. What are they moving? Antiquities, mostly. The Nawali was waiting to sync up with them before he was captured. You mean before we captured him? I'm pretty sure you were about to die when I came along and saved your ass. And yet, if I hadn't stalled him, he would have got away. So, you're welcome. Do you want it to look like an accident or a statement? What? Well, I'm assuming you want me to make the convoy disappear. No, I want you to follow it. So I can kill everyone and retrieve the stolen goods. So we know where they're going. Sure, and then I kill everyone and retrieve the stolen goods. No. Then you will report back to me, I will arrive with the team, and you will go home and hit the showers before you have a chance to fuck it up. You think I can't do this? I think you like getting a paycheck. Follow the convoy. Don't fuck it up. Hey there. Name's JR. We about to see some action? Nope. Orders are to follow the convoy, observe its activity, and report back. Seriously? The convoy's right there. You know, I heard about you. I'm a little bit of a maverick myself. Two crazy badasses like us, we're not gonna mix it up? No. My friends are counting on me to get my performance bonus. I can't afford to screw it up. We don't engage, just observe and report. Looks like them motorcycles are falling back. Probably just drop something. We gonna just let them shoot at us? When was very clear on not engaging. If we don't do something, all we're gonna observe and report is getting dead. Fine, just this one. <laughs> That's how I like to ride. on track. From now on, observe and report. Ah, oh, fuck. They have a turret. Can't take this kind of fire forever. Our orders are to follow them. No can do. Unless you want to take that thing out. I... God damn it. Get in closer. Wait. What are you doing? Taking out the turret. From the roof? No. From the truck. You need closer. You're out of your goddamn mind. I thought you said you were a maverick. A little bit. I said a little bit. Leave this out of the report. Heads up! You got more incoming! Ah, oh, come on! I was almost done! Well, as long as I'm here. Oh. Doobie? Why am I seeing gunfire at the back of that convoy? When? Well, there were motorcycles and then a turret, and one thing led to another. Well, that was good. You don't sound mad. I honestly think I would set one car after a convoy that size. You're just a distraction. We got a drone following you. Wait, you used me as bait? That's the job you were born for. Mission accomplished. Now finish what you're doing and get out of there. JR, pick me up. I can't get close. That truck's on fire. Shit. Oops, the car's on fire.
here! Jump! Finally. Let's follow orders and fall back. Take more than a car wreck to kill that son bitch. Okay, time to finally get the fuck out of. What is that? Sandstorm. We're going in. Come in, newbie. Gwen, I hear you. We're falling back. Negative. The drone is down. I need. Need eyes on that convoy. I'm giving you field command. Fuck, really? Do what you gotta do. Follow the lead truck until it stops. Then radio. Jr. Let's get him. Kid gloves are off. The kid gloves were on? If I can't see them, they can't see me, right? See the main convoy ahead. Uh, we got a problem here. Be more specific. Sand's clogging up my intake. We're losing speed. Great. Just give me in the jumping range and fall back. That's suicide. I got us this far, didn't I? I don't want to be a maverick no more. Fuck him up. Shit, turret. Jumped in the wrong path. No! Let's 
do this. <laughs> we need cover. Ah. You ain't strong enough to face me. <laughs> That's what you get for smuggling antiquity. Sergio, your head! When I followed the convoy, it uh, it stopped. You did good. Holy shit, a compliment. Yeah, yeah. Stay here. Over here. Now! Gwen says you were responsible for retrieving the Hummingbird Codex. If that was something in the truck, then yes. Impressive work. I wouldn't have been able to do it without JR, sir. Team player. I like that. There's someone I'd like you to meet. This is Dr. Antonio Espina. He's the chief curator for the Museum of Santo Aliso. It's nice to meet you, sir. The retrieval of these relics is no small feat. The museum is in Marshall's debt. Just doing my job, sir. Antonio's museum has a contract with Marshall, and he requested you to be in charge of security. What? Gwen's filled me in on your eccentricities, but the results speak for themselves. Sir, it's my second day. Sounds like someone wants to talk themselves out of a promotion. No, no, I want the job. I'm just surprised. Things change fast here at Marshall. So, can Antonio and I count on you or not? Yes, sir. 